My name is Arata Akizuki. I'm 29. I used to be a chef working in Tokyo, but I recently came back to my hometown to become a farmer. Hello, Akizuki Farm. Yo, man, it's me. Tako, are you calling for an order? Yeah, send me some veggies. This is Tako Ishida. He was my senior colleague back in Tokyo. He's a head chef at a restaurant owned by a famous entrepreneur. <laughs> you need to be more specific. What exactly do you need? Eh, uh, you pick. You say that every time. It's not cool. You used to be a chef too. Just pick some stuff that would be good to serve at a nice restaurant. Fine. How about seasonal vegetables? Maybe some Swiss chard, artichokes, and red velvet okra? I'll toss in some blue tomatoes too. Ah, uh, you know, I think I had some recently, uh, the blue tomatoes, but everything you said is so showy. We specialize in rare vegetables, Tako. We decided on the number of vegetables and the delivery date. After that, Tako asked me if I was planning to visit Tokyo anytime soon. I told Mr. Onoda, the owner, about you. He thinks you're great and he wants to meet you. Oh, I saw him on TV the other day. Huh, when can you come? When? I'm a farmer. It's not that easy for me to just leave my veggies behind. You know, if he likes you, you might get an exclusive contract. <laughs> Give me a date. I'll be there. Okay, I'll let you know when it's decided. I'm a newbie when it comes to managing a business, but I am quite well organized, especially when it comes to money. That's why my business is in the black. I've never had problems paying my credit card bills, so it has never been unpaid. I am pretty confident when it comes to managing everything money-wise. I gotta work hard to make my business bigger. I want more people to enjoy the vegetables I make. It's been a while. Where's Mr. Onoda? He'll be here after he finishes up his work. He told me we can go ahead and start dinner without him. I followed Tako to our destination. To my surprise, it was a hostess bar. Huh, I've never stepped foot inside a hostess bar. Mr. Onoda knows the owner of this place. I'm sure you'll be fine. My name is Sari. I'm looking forward to getting to know you both. Hi guys! I'm Marin, and I'm 21! Mr. Onoda called to tell us he would be arriving late. Why don't we get started? I'm starving! We should ask our guests what they want to drink first. Oh, uh, don't worry about me. Water will be fine. Water? Did you say water? You're joking, right? Um, am I supposed to order alcohol? I don't know how this all works. Sir, would you prefer non-alcoholic drinks? Yes, but I can drink alcohol if I have to. That won't be necessary. We have a variety of non-alcoholic drinks. We want you to enjoy your time here. Thank you. I appreciate your kindness. Oh, I have to order a drink for the hostess too. Uh, Saori, would you like something to... Hey, you over there. Is this the first time coming to a place like this? This is an executive club, sir? You might want to cover the basics before coming here. I, uh, I apologize. And about that outdated business suit? You don't have the money to buy a new one. Do you? Marin, that is no way to talk to a customer. Well, I don't usually wear business suits when I work. Oh, I can tell. I can tell how financially stable a man is just by looking at his business suit. I've had a love for vegetables ever since I was young. Some people called me weird, but I still feel the same even after I've grown up. That's why I used the money I made in Tokyo to start a business to grow and sell unique vegetables. That's all that mattered to me. <laughs> Please accept my sincere apologies. I feel awful. Uh, I'm embarrassed. I'm an adult. I should at least try to maintain a decent appearance. Excuse me, Mr. Onoda has arrived just now. Just then, Mr. Onoda came through the door, swishing away the awkward vibe that was lingering in the room. It's nice to finally meet you. I've heard a lot of great things about you, Mr. Akizuki. Oh, you're flattering me. I'm just an ordinary farmer. <laughs> I apologize for arriving so late. Oh no, you're not late at all. We were just early. Mr. Onoda, please don't tell me you're friends with this person. Not yet, but I am looking forward to getting to know him. What? He doesn't look like anybody that would do you any good, Mr. Onoda. There's no class in the way he talks. 
And his suit is old-fashioned. Plus, he's a farmer. I mean, look. He has a fake brand watch on his wrist. It's pathetic. <laughs> Mr. Akizuki, we removed Marin from her seat immediately. Marin, what are you trying to say? This is an executive club. Both the hostess and the customer should be worthy of being here. I don't want to sit at the same table with a customer like him. His watch? The real brand doesn't have that watch in that color, so it proves that it's fake. Hey, what is wrong with you? You're so rude. It's pissing me off. I treasure my job. It's my life. I don't want poor people bringing down the quality of the bar. Lauren, our job is to do our best to help our customers enjoy our company. Financial status, being rich, none of that matters. What? You gotta be kidding. How will they give us any money if they don't have any? Well then, Marin, how about you guess how much Mr. Akizuki and I make every year? I apologize, I had a little research done before meeting you. Uh, oh. Mr. Onida, we all know how famous you are. There's no way he makes more than you. Why don't you give it a little thought? I'll order some champagne if you get it right. Do you promise? Yes. But if you get it wrong, you need to apologize to Mr. Akizuki. Of course! But I'm going to get it right, so there won't be any apologies. Hmm. <laughs> I'm ready! Mr. Noda, you make about 100 million yen. And the poor farmer over there? He's lucky if he makes 4 million yen a year. Oh, too bad. You got it wrong. What? <laughs> What about you, Saori? How much do you think he makes? I'm sorry if I am completely wrong, but I think you both have a similar income. No way! Mr. Noda and the farmer can't be the same! The watch you have on right now, it's a limited model if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm surprised you know. It's a collaboration of the European brand and Japanese anime. They only made a hundred of them, so it's extremely rare. I came across it when I was preparing myself to talk to a customer who loves anime. I've been a big fan ever since I was little. You must have studied hard. Well, I don't feel comfortable being unprepared for anything. <laughs> well, Saori got the answer right. Marin, you promised me you would apologize to Mr. Akizuki. Oh, um, uh, I don't need a... Uh, fine! I'll apologize! I am sorry for hurting your feelings. You will be leaving our table. I'm going to have to tell everybody what happened here with you. Your actions were just unacceptable. Jeez! Huh? After that, we spent a nice evening together, talking about work and hobbies and stuff like that. University? That's right. I'm saving up money right now to go to university. What do you want to study? Biology. I have a dream. I want to discover new yeast and sell the bread I make with it. Wow! I just know there are many yeast species out there and are suitable for making bread. I want to be the one to find them. <laughs> Sorry, you are very unique. <laughs> Coming from the guy who wanted to grow weird vegetables to sell to the world. Uh, hey! <laughs> I guess you and I have a lot in common. Sorry is beautiful and easy to talk to. I bet she's a popular hostess. Our conversation lasted until midnight. I didn't want to, but it was time to leave the bar. I've caused a lot of trouble tonight. Please, let me pay for this one. It wasn't your fault, but okay. If you promise me, you'll let me pay next time. Thanks, I'm looking forward to doing business with you. Hey, your credit card. What? Oh, um, it comes with a lot of benefits, that's why I use it. Why? Are you going to pick on me again? Mr. Akizuki, I knew you were different the moment you stepped into this room. I'll give you my card. How about you give me a call sometime? Uh, well, I think I'm going to say no, but thanks for the suggestion. Um, I was hoping to get your card, if that's okay. Uh, oh my, uh, really? 
So, uh, would it be okay if I ask you out for dinner sometime? Of course! I would love to hear more about your vegetables! <laughs> Great! You can teach me more about yeast! Mr. Onoda agreed to sign an exclusive contract with me, and I started to come to Tokyo more often. I heard Marin got fired from the hostess bar. It was because she kept picking fights and making rude comments about customers. I hope she will learn to control her actions someday. Mr. Akizuki, thanks for meeting me! Recently, I have added another dream to my list. Sorry, you look great today, as always. The first is to get many more people to enjoy the vegetables I grow. The second one is to get many people to enjoy the bread Saori will make with the yeast she discovers in the future. Seeing good people working hard to achieve their dreams always brings me joy. If there's anybody around you who is working hard right now, don't forget to tell them you're rooting for them. Did you guys like today's story? Let us know with your comments. Hope to see you again soon. See you. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.